Hey guys, you join me here at Snowman86 and we are on Farm Simulator 19 and today we are currently running a new save on Seneca County. So what we have on our hands here is version 1 of the map, very thanks to Joe for that, um, kindly just let us test the map out here for him. Um, so with that we have a new save as well set up, um, so hopefully any of the teething issues we had in the previous save should be gone from where I tried to manage two maps into one and it didn't quite work in my favour. Um, so we should be sitting on a much better standing here straight off the bat. So with that said, uh, we are setting up here in a different area as well. So we're starting here between field 53 and 51, that area there. Um, we have the land bought and we are starting to work with what we decided to do. We'll just do a quick tour of our yard. So inside here we have our combine, our headers. This is now going to be our storage area. And again, it has a nice capacity on it which we can just quickly check here I'm sure we can see it anyway so we can store now 34,000 bushels so that's a much improvement on what we had on the previous one so that is our two areas there and then we have this big building here and this will be our main workshop and storage so inside at the moment we have our auger trader and nothing else but we'll be turning this area here if we can into a workshop we just need to get the symbol in there um, so we might just place a mod for that I think I have one called a toolbox and this is our house down here at the end of the drive so we're just going to quickly jump into landscaping mode and you will see we have been working on our fields here we are going to extend the boundaries as well on the fields as we go um, I just like to farm a little bit closer to the ditches where I can and we are currently working on this field here and um, what we'll also do is this large green section grass section even on the side here we will be turning into a field um, and we will be planting a crop there as well so we just want to try and maximize the ground maximize our profit and then this is field 53 then on the other side of us and again we'll be working this so that is the map um, I'll just draw it up here nice and even we might go to the menu so this is the map all the fields are in and missions are running on it uh, traffic on the map as well um, a, a nice few things have changed some of the road detailings have changed so where they've gone from kind of wider gravel rolls especially up here towards the shop it has narrowed about halfway um, that is so far there could be a couple more small changes made depending on what we find here as we go about and this top section here is also new to the map so we'll just jump up here to poet so we're here at poet and this is basically a cell point and you can see it has a nice bit of grass growing up through the gravel and stuff in areas and again it's just well detailed out nice big silos and just a large nice open big area to turn with trucks and stuff should be no issues for anybody um, and that leads us on to that area so again we're just going to jump back into landscape mode here and we're going to quickly and um, we're back here at the farm so we're just going to head south here go past the field we're working in and we're just going to kind of head down to this area here and we'll tour all the farms kind of quickly from above so this is another one and again what I like here is a lot of space for placeables and expanding your yard you get the bare basics and you can build on it after that and one thing to note is when you do buy the land area you do gain access to the building so if you don't like this building here you can sell it off and start with your own so you have that option as well um, if we go further down here we do have another sell point down here and this is the old railway track that runs right down through the kind of diagonal of the map um, not quite middle to middle or corner to corner even I should say but still running down there and you can see the old tracks here that were in place and stuff but this is the section we'll be using and again nice big open area to turn and just into a kind of a little village area just there then So we just follow the railway track up along the line here and you'll see more houses and we should appear here on another farm just here so again you have the same setup 
um the field isn't shaped like that i should warn you it does curve there and you can see that when you plow through the first time you will gain the full use of what is plowable and it's the same over here i believe yes you can cut in up your line here so all those sections are available there and again same thing here you just have a small bit of little lake there we need to test that are those lakes actual functional um, and then we also have buildings again and your silo that again you can sell if needs be so we just quickly zoom across the map and i do love we're just going to stop here i do love these kind of canyons that are cut in or trenches ditches even that are cut in randomly around the, ma the map they just kind of link areas up and they are just well detailed and they just a nice feel to the map with them there so we are onto another yard here so again this map is ideal for a multiplayer setting um, possibly where you get the best use out of it being a 4x map so lots of room there for people to play together with and we have another yard down here and again you'll notice the same team across all the yards nice big open spaces where you can expand your operations which is probably the goal of everybody start small and build your way up and again you have the same thing here a couple of trees maybe got to come down a bit of landscaping but again you can expand your yard and operations out and again you see the old waterways cut in here through the field so we're just going to quickly shoot back up to where our original base of operations was so we're just coming across this is the cell point i don't think much has changed here i think it's mainly the same layout um and again we have our farm then on this side and again same layout um everything is much the same and you do have cows on this farm so the other thing i want to point out and i believe it's actually straight across here we're just going to actually jump out landscaping for a second there something that i have not seen in another map um now it might exist not sure but it is a nice little feature is this little area here for the animals so on this side here we have pigs but if we pop through and we'll just actually go out through the middle door here so to my right i have pigs and a small little pin area there for them and to my left i have cows so if you do end up owning this area you can kind of run maybe a dual operation of pigs and cows um, again i'd imagine numbers are limited not tested yet on my side and i should also note that as you see here the custom textures are in as well so for soybeans and corn so that's a nice touch as well but it's just a nice little feature that you can run two animals out of the one yard um, I know this can be done with placeables, but it's actually built into the map, which I think is just a nice feature. Um, so we'll get back here to landscaping. Um, that is our town, which has remained the same. We'll bring back up our map again, guys. And if we zoom back this way, we should have, I believe it's a pig base with chickens as well, just here. And this is one of the bigger sh um, uh, barns, I suppose, in the area just a nice large scale barn you have your silo again and your chickens are out here in this little hen house and again similar kind of barn to where we are based that it would be your main vehicle storage so i believe there's two of those farms where you can dual task between animals which again i think is just a nice touch i think these are sheep up here if i'm right so you do have a sheep farm now as well here and again a bit smaller of a setup but again plenty of space around that where you can expand and if you really want to set up your base of operations there you have a great um, starting area to go with and again into a bit of a forestry we have the creek again running down through there and if we just zoom across here now and this is the second one so again you have your cows here to this section and on the left hand side here then we have our cattle or pigs even sorry so and again notice the way the ground and the fields and everything else kind of has nice rolling texture so it's not just a plain flat map so that will bear in mind for when you are selecting your horsepower requirements and your implements and stuff 
that it's not just a flat pull you do have to climb some hills and some of the hills are quite steep and again the dealership down here then has actual machinery parked outside now i believe in multiplayer if you were playing um somebody could get lucky and end up owning this combine and the same over here with the tractors the headers and all that stuff and um, this is our cedar that we've currently purchased but these are all actual in-game items just parked here around the shop and assigned a different farm id which in single player is fine but for multiplayer as i say some people will end up owning these things so add a little perk there for those who play it on the multiplayer and again you do also have these options where this is not actually a farm per se but it is but you could start here and build up your own operation again from kind of a really really small beginning where you just start off with a shed you've no silos um, nothing really around you and you can really just develop from there and this is actually one of these road textures that I was describing earlier so you'll see we are going from gravel road down to a tar road and the tar road does narrow so just keep in mind when you're coming across that area that you'd want to stick as I suppose dead center to the road as you can especially as you're approaching the shop so all in all guys this will be as I say a fresh save so we're not carrying anything over from the previous one um, we are still running seasons on it um, and the reason we are not carrying it over as I say I think I created a couple of errors when I transferred from I believe it's version 8 to version 9 while trying to keep everything intact caused me a couple of bits of grief um, so we've uh, steered clear of this and started just a brand new save here for this version as I say we should hopefully clock up a nice few hours as we are going to be also testing this for Joe um, so we need to get, try and get this done as soon as we can and to a good standard as well so with that said guys we're just going to jump here into our John Deere and before we even do that actually we might just show you the garage and the equipment we are starting off with on this save so if we just jump to our garage you see we have a small 200 horsepower I say small 200 horsepower uh, John Deere nothing small about it um, we have a Kenworth, we have another John Deere Harvester, we have our trailers, as I see we have our grain cart, two headers, our 8 meter plow, eight meter plow, a 9 meter cedar and we also are carrying over this as well, a Vertistat Tempo. So hopefully we should be able to get into corn using this. Um, the one thing we are short at the moment is a cultivator, but we will... We will sort one out there shortly and uh, we also have a fertilizer or header trailer and as I say because we bought land these three buildings that we have on our land we can sell them off if we didn't like them and we could place our own down there so again lots of customization on this map and the ability to change things as you go which is just a great selling point for me anyway personally um, and you see we have the farm boots here at the end and that's just saves where our starting location is so again just handy that we don't have to be tabbing around or running around it'll always bring us back to our house so with that said guys as i say we're just going to jump into our john deere um so we'll get back to our base which you see here it even adds the icon so this will be our starting location the boots are there we'll minimize our map down again and we're just going to track across our field here and hopefully find our john deere so while we're running across guys i won't bore you with me sprinting across um, and i'll join you down there once we get going again so now as we plow on here and we try to turn as much as we can here and the weather has turned on us um, and you will notice a new feature here running called uh, just see kind of just off center there of the main screen something called motor load and slip now what these do is they will for instance sake when you're plowing like I am here or chiseling even um, you will see that once the load comes on Oh, it's not too bad here on ground that is kind of pre-trampled or compacted already which is what we're on but if we were to jump lanes one to the left um, our slip would increase and eventually you can end up getting the tractor stuck 
so that's a nice feature and it just also shows you how hard your engine is working so we're currently pulling at about 90 percent just kind of hovering just below it ranging between kind of 85 to 89 percent so that's how hard our engine is working here as we turn ground so just a nice little feature i think also something different and just adds a bit more feature um for those who played farm sim 17 there was a mod out called more realistic and again it kind of adds that feel to it as if we disable our all our things you'll see our slip is after jumping up and we're slowly slowly grinding to a halt 45 percent slipping and that is without four wheel drive on and the diff lock so if you just enable four wheel drive again you'll see we instantly jump back up and in fact if I went out as far here and if we disable again we might do it this time now no, we're happily pulling along now again so the higher it goes you should eventually see our wheels kind of start to dig into the ground and we might get a good example here as we approach the thing you'll see our back wheels fighting hard to try and get us to go and they're just spinning away so we're slipping mad we're not quite slipping enough that we're digging into the ground i think once you get to kind of the 70 80 percent mark um you will end up digging into the ground so again as i say nice little feature just going to turn one and we're going to skip the lane there so I think it just adds that extra dimension that you got to be working on and thinking of as well and also then when it rains which is why we're using seasons that it adds that more um, dy dynamic use of the game um, it also limits what we can do in terms of field work as our slip is a bad as we'll go downhill but if the slip gets high enough definitely something you want to be watching out for um, either that or go for track machines again your slip will be reduced so it kind of opens up the wheel options as well and as you can see off into the distance there on the top left hand side just the nice contour rolling hills and um, just again I must say I just do like this map it's just something about it strikes me and this is why I had the bones of maybe 80 or 90 hours on the other save so I'd imagine we'll get that up again pretty quick here as we start on a new adventure um, and as I say we're going to start mainly just arable this time we will avoid animals for the short term so the plan here we're going to plow all our fields and um, lime them and get them planted get them ready for get ready again for planting season which won't be too long coming up behind us and I clearly never lifted my plow or lifted and dropped it again so that is the goal here guys as I say this map is ideal for the likes of a multiplayer server and um, gives plenty of options for people to start out and even if you were to do which I've seen done before by other youtubers is where people will start to farm and they'll have a goal where after maybe three years they'll turn in and see who's turning the most profit and things like that and um, you can lots of options definitely for this map that can be done with it so if you haven't checked it out I do believe version 9 is still out there um, you'll be able to find it on American Needles modding so that's if you're looking for the download link that's where you'll find it and I will also leave a link of that in the description of this video as well guys so if you are looking for it um, that's where to head to and as I say I believe it's version 0 0.9 is currently up there and the final bugs are just being worked out here and it's hopefully I don't have a release date yet but in the near future you should be looking at a full release of Seneca County so that's exciting news and considering that um, there is no new farm sim for the coming year um, and just DLCs and stuff instead definitely it will be nice to have a feature map 
something like this that you can really kind of spend the time with and it'll be good for models as well that will be able to bring out bigger and better mods and scripting and stuff like that so this is definitely one to have in your mod folder And for those of you who are interested, if there's any section of this map that you want to see in detail or more detail instead of just a quick flyover using the landscaping tool, again, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get out there and show you what is around that area. Because I say plenty of scope. I think no matter where you start, you have a good scope to develop your farm and just really grow into it. And obviously, you the goal again own as much land as you can and turn as much profit as you can so i think we finished this pass and just close off that last section guys and i think we might call this as the rain is really starting to pelt down now and just not productive to be turning ground in this kind of rain i'm um, only going to turn it into soup so we don't want to be doing that So we're just going to complete these two runs and I think then we will call it a day after that. So again if there's anything in particular of this map you want to see, again by all means let me know in the comments and I will do my best to, to show that area off. Um, or even if you have any questions on it let me know and we can see if we can get them answered to the best of our abilities guys. going to shut off our four wheel drive again and see how much of an effect it has so you see we're slipping 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 we're grinding slower but if we enable even the diff lock at the moment it's enough to pull us out of the hole we're in so we're just going to leave four wheel drive on and that should be enough to see us able to chisel this entire field So, with all that said guys, as I say, this is Seneca County version 1, and we're just in the early stages of testing, and the sooner we can get it tested and out, the sooner it can get released, but as I say, there is a version 0.9 available on American Eagle modding, which I again will link in the description below. So guys, thanks very much for watching, I've been Snowman86, and this has been Seneca County. Take care.